So how did you two meet? Well, uh, Terry and I worked at uh, the, the Drug and Alcohol Service. We then met again a few years later at the Women's International Day event that was going on in Paddock. And uh, she had some pasties. <laughs> <laughs> and you tried to share me under the table. Yeah, yeah. I remember you know, that. Like a little deal. A little, yeah. little drug deal with pasties under the table. But, but the thing then. is, though, <laughs> I do think social media and that sense of community played a massive part in us, us connecting. We are from the same town. MySpace, yes. that's how I connected yep. with lots of different people and that helped me develop and grow my performing so I you know got gigs all over the country I met international performers you know like I, YouTube was my like a spit place where I used to go and this is early no I'm not saying early internet you know 2005 and um, I'd sit there watching YouTube videos of the slipper room in New York and Dirty Martini and Pinky <laughs> Special and all these people and like Tigger um, all these people who were like speaking to me through videos and going, you know, like this is what this is where my people are at. Uh, I I'm a part of that. I want to say things that are political. I want to do better for my community. I want to be creative. I want to make things. I want to be a part of something, you know, that gives me joy and helps me say what I need to say that I might not be able to say in my everyday, yeah. you know, and maybe meet other people who've got the same shared vi vision, values and goals. And that's where me and Dee are the same. And I think when people are alike, and you know, me and Dee have got very, very Similar. same views, values and, and values, ethics yeah. from yeah. the town that we're from, you know, our own separate cultures and combined cultures. Yeah. And that kind of wanting to do good and wanting to be yeah. there for people and support, but also be creative. So, you know, like the early New <laughs> so, York scene, there's very much of that community ethos of people enabling people to put those narratives together and those stories to tell that through performance, through a shared, like a collective culture of people wanting to enable people to express themselves properly. That rapport you have and respect for the show and the producer and well, that's the kind of thing I'd like to be in. And when other performers speak about a producer that's fair, transparent, helpful, supportive, do you know what I mean? Creates safe spaces. You've got that value. Do you know what I'm saying? And a dream, you know, everybody's got opinions of everybody, but I look at a producer and I'm happy. Do you know what I mean? They've gone out of the way. They've checked if I'm all right, if I'm hungry, if I'm thirsty, if my knee hurts. And little things like that matter, you know, both long COVID sufferers, you know what I'm saying? So you might need a glass of water before a show or a seat straight away afterwards to sit down because my legs shake and I sweat and I can't, I can't breathe. I have to get air and then come back out. You know, people don't see the behind the scenes, mm. but with the good producers, they've got what you need backstage and ready. And already at the beginning, if there's out you need, let me know. Mm -hmm. And through the contracts and the private groups we have when we're all cast for a show, it's all in there. If you've got this kind of need, that need, disability access, everything you could possibly want is there. It's that sort of thing about having, having a family. I have people that I've known for a very, very long time that I regard as family over performing. Mm -hmm. And that if I never performed again, I would still be their family and we would still hang out and we would still yeah. do the same things and we would still chat the same stuff, you know, and it's, it's taken a long time to find that sense of community, but community to your bones. For myself as a performer, I have, uh, so there's Terry and then there's Morningstar and Morningstar is a very different person. The, the character that I portray, even when I'm hosting or like, like I do front of house at my own events, I meet and greet every single person who attends my events and I welcome them as to a, a, I'm not saying to a family, but I welcome them like the family, but I'm Star, I'm not Terry. And so even if it's a, a gown or my hair done or my makeup on, when I'm at work as a burlesque performer or a variety performer, I'd prefer to say, I switch off from who I am inside. I've still got the same core values, but I'm a very, very different entity. Once I get into the changing rooms and my headphones go in, I block out everything around me. The background noise, everybody getting changed, whatever conversation's going on, it's just me and my music. And in my head, I'm smooth, 
I'm dark, I'm intoxicating, I'm Remy Brandy. So you get into that kind of strong pose, move, cat like, uh, do you know what I mean? But, but, but put, putting put the clothes, clothes on, on helps you. To yeah, to get into that into and that the character. music constantly as well in your head, because that's what I'd, I've always got in my headphones. And you get into it. That's why when I go shopping, if I'm picking up some of the alcohol aisle and I'm in, in that kind of like persona in my head with the music, she comes out. And you were saying that. And it's beats. my own beat. It's just, it's really hard to describe, but I know that I feel different. The way I, I, I walk is different. The way I interact with another person is different. The way I move my hands, the way I become all, if I'm holding a garment of clothing, it's just, it's just not like this. It would be more, you know what I mean? It's, it's all sensual all of a sudden. I didn't have to be D, the carer, or Mummy D, as my son calls me, mm. Mummy D, or D, the friend, or D, D on Facebook. I'm Remy Brandy, and I just leave the rest behind till I get back through my door. And then I'm Mummy D, or D, D, or whoever. It, it's, you can escape into... Remy Brandy's strong. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a transformation. It's a taste. It's, it, yeah, you transform. I take a great satisfaction when I see people switch off. When you see a true entertainer on stage, they're not the person that they are in their everyday, they're the character. <laughs> Can you imagine me like, every day on stage? It's like their <laughs> eyes change. And you see it, you see it with singers. When a singer lets go and it, the singer takes over, you're there with them in that moment, in that character, in that, in that story, in that narrative. It's like being in a film, you know, you've got an actor, they're playing a role and that believable role, you believe they're that person. Yeah. You know, my partner met me a star and he knows when I'm star and when I'm not star because he'll be like stars out tonight <laughs> because he can tell because I completely change I completely change and he's like it's like it's like being with two like with two people. people she would tell Terry straight what Terry don't want to hear <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean she would have an awkward conversation that Terry wouldn't have yeah and she would be probably a little bit more judgmental of a, of a situation than normal Terry would be. You know, more critical. She would probably be more critical and she'd probably be a little bit more sharp. She's a person, she's got her own thoughts, she's got her own beliefs. I've, you know, I've got other characters. I've got, like, Ivana. Ivana's a very different character to Star, but Ivana, I've lived as the character of Ivana. And I've actually, you know, like when people talk, I'm not a trained actor or anything like that, but I've read about some methodologies in acting and, you know, like method acting, living that person, thinking what that person, writing letters as that person, collecting items that that person, I have a cupboard at home that is all Ivana's items. And that if you picked it up, I could tell you exactly the story behind that item. You know, you have artists who do that, who get involved in their, uh, you know, media that they're using and they have a story for it. They have a, right. a thing behind it. It's like <clears throat> illustrators. They do the same costumers. Yeah. They have a, a theory, a plan, where it's from, what it tasted like, what were the smells. You know, Ivana has her own perfume. I have my own perfume for morning star. If I wear that perfume, my, my partner's like, that smells of club nights. <laughs> That's my club night because it's immersive. It's that whole taking on a different role, but a role that is someone to entertain, someone to bring joy, someone to have fun with, someone to have a laugh with. You can do that with me normally. Mm -hmm. But when you pay to go see a show, you're paying for that character.